Um, we're going to talk about, we're going to start from the saddle today, and we're going to mostly talk about controlling the knee line and not letting the knee slip past the line of the, of the hips. Yeah, so, essentially, if I'm here and Jeremy frees his knee, it's impossible to get a, a leg lock here. Okay? Once the knee is free past my hip, even if you catch like good grip here, he can always turn with it. Okay, I've got nothing to stop him turning. All right, so I need to make sure the knee line is captured past the line of my, of my hip. Okay. Um, so, one of the first things we can do to try to make sure that happens is make sure our, our triangle is locked nice and tight. Okay. If I've got a good tight triangle, it's going to be hard for, for Jeremy to, to remove his knee. So how do we do that from the, the, the saddle? All right. I want to make sure my shins are in alignment here. So, like this. Okay. Probably the biggest mistake I see, people try to lock up a triangle with the knees flared. It's not a tight triangle. Okay. This applies to any sort of triangle you're trying to do. You need to have your shins in alignment and then you want to first thing is like a push pull of your of your thighs here so it should start to lift his knee up and i'm also trying to like push his hip down with this okay from that catching at the calf not at the knee the knee watch this I, when i get when i catch the knee line and i curl my foot it closes a little bit when i catch the calf and i curl my foot it completely shuts off the space okay so you see this foot at the calf, if I now curl, it will push back. If it's at the knee, it won't do nearly as much. Okay, so not here, but here. So we're at the saddle. Push, pull, catch at the calf, and we're going back heel. Back heel is really important. Okay, so I'm constantly curling my heels back towards my, my hips from here. Okay. Alright, so I want to have a position like this. This is nice and tight. Now, without using anything else, if Jeremy tries to scoot away, it should drag me along the mat without losing the knee, okay, if I've got a tight trunk. Now a few things on this. Generally, we want like, the closer to the hips I am, the further his knee is away from freeing, which is great. It's also harder for Jeremy to use his other leg to kick away, okay. If he gets that in, he can now kick, which helps him free his knee, alright. So the closer to the knee, the easier that leg's going to come in and, and push. Okay. But that's not the end of the story in terms of distance because if you want good finishing power, you need to have your like the fulcrum right at the knee. Okay. If I'm right at the hip here, I've got a heel hook and I bridge, it, like, there's a lot more movement that can occur because the force is not, it's directed like not into the knee but into the thigh. You can still get pressure on the knee but it's nowhere near as strong as if my hips are right behind the knee and I push from here. Okay. Jeremy can attest probably there the difference in, in the field there. Okay, so obviously during our setup, if we can have our hips closer to theirs, like closer to the hips, that's going to be better. But once we're wanting to apply a finish, we do actually want often to have our hips right behind the knee to be able to apply good pressure. To right. But our first thing we're going to do, we're going to lock up. So feet, shins in alignment. Pretty much be side on to the like, be more side on to the leg than, than facing them. Side on, push pull, catch mid calf back here with both feet, and then hide your foot underneath this near hip as much as you can, pinching your knees together as you as you're curling. Okay, so I want to be like making it as hard as possible for this foot to come in. Yeah, so I'm keeping this nice and tight. If, if he has to do that to get the foot in, he can't do a powerful kick like that. Okay. But if it's like here, it's, I guarantee you, if we try to hold now, he's going to free his knee. If you push pull. Okay. So, start side on, push pull, actively curl, and then we're going to bring our knees across nice and tight, and foot hooked underneath the hip. Right. So we got that. Three, two, one. So, uh, from from this position, it's good. It's a nice tight, uh, like we can get a nice tight triangle. That said, it, it, can, it can be hard to expose the um, the heel if, they, if, they're, if they're like turning and hiding the heel well. Okay? Because my leg configuration is not ideal for exposing the heel. It's my, it's this action, which is okay at exposing the heel, but something like 50-50 where my legs are crossed will do a, a much better job at exposing the heel and countering that rotation. Okay, so just gotta realize with this with this uh, positioning of our legs here, it's not amazing at exposing the heel to catch the, the heel hook. Okay. Uh, so there's one other way that I like to, well, there's a few other ways to control their ability to free their knee. My favorite one is actually to try to bend the knee. Okay, so if, if Jeremy's leg is straight, 
and he starts to scoot backwards, like, there's, a, there's a fair chance that he will, will free the leg, even with the triangle, especially if he pushes with the other leg, or his hands even, like when the leg goes straight, it starts to really uh, free, okay? If I'm able to bend the knee, so I'll just give an example, but if I can bend the knee like this, and now Jeremy goes to free the leg, if it stays bent, he cannot, like it's gonna drag me with it, okay? Now I've taught this before, but I, I think a lot of people haven't quite got it right when, when they've done this. To bend the knee, you need to move the opposite way of what you think, okay? I don't wanna let his knee free this way, so a lot of people try to bend the knee and like chase Jeremy that way, okay? I'm not putting any pressure to bend his knee with my hips when I do it. My hips actually need to move this way. Push into the knee and create some pressure to, to bend it. I'm gonna step my left foot on the mat, flare my leg, and I'm gonna take my right foot as far as I can this way, pushing my hips into the back of the knee, and my elbow is gonna be going as far behind, catching and, and taking his foot behind like this as possible, okay? So watch this, my hips will move this way, and I'm pressuring quite strongly into the knee. Okay. Jeremy, free your knee. I can't. Okay. <laughs> but can you scoot back or not even? No, I just yeah. can't. Yeah, cool. So this is what we want. They're stuck. It's actually quite hard for them to roll here too. Okay, so if I bend the knee like that, see this, this is a long lever now to slow down the roll. So if I want to catch the heel, I actually get a good chance to, to do that from that position. So again, over here. We're gonna get our elbow in front of the ankle, not at the toes yet. We're not trying to dig the heel yet. We're going in front of the ankle. Ah, person on the defense, just start to turn a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna assume they're doing the right thing. If he's turning this way, I don't have to do any of that. I just take the, the heel, okay? So he's starting to turn this way. My elbow catches behind, like this. I'm gonna plant my left foot, step as far as I can, and then use my hips, arch my back. You can even use your other hand to, to assist with this, layering my knee out. Jeremy's gonna try to free his knee, and he's gonna feel stuck there. Let's have a go. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's an excellent position to, to catch the heel as well. Okay, so we're not gonna practice securing the heel hook, but basically from here, you got your elbow here. All I need to do is slide his knee forward, and the heel pops out, and his toes are stuck. Okay, so I'm here. All I need to do, reach forward, watch his heel, expose, clutch, and I'm ready to finish, okay? But I want you to practice keeping this tension throughout, okay? So let's say I'm a little late and Jeremy starts to roll, okay? I need to keep the bend. Now watch this, if you just roll like shoulder-wise, I've let him straighten his knee, okay? So now if he, if he keeps rolling, I probably lose the, I lose the leg, okay? I need to keep the knee bent the whole time. Remember, if the knee's bent, he can't free his knee. Okay. So I want you to practice when we're here. As Jeremy goes to roll, I'm gonna post on the mat and sit back. Okay. Is free your knee, Jeremy. Okay. It's still stuck. And then for the sake of it, we're gonna roll through. And I'm gonna go back to the, to the same initial position uh, to start again, okay? Now, if I'm doing this well, and, and I've got a good bend, Jeremy's roll is slow. Okay, so in reality, if I can keep his knee bent as we roll through, I can catch the heel and get the, the pinch. Okay. So again. <laughs> Let's bend the knee. Guys, make sure like there's that 90 degree angle. So I don't want, some people have gone here. See, I'm in the same line. Here, this is no good for bending the knee. I really want to be like, taking like my, my back as far away as I can, okay? So as Jeremy goes to roll, post, sit back, like this, and then you're gonna keep going all the way over, and land back in the same position again. Just do one roll, because you're gonna probably bump into each other with how many people are here tonight, but we'll give that a go, okay? So we go, all right, one more time. <laughs> Their legs or, or your legs? Yeah. Yeah. You won't. You won't always land in. Uh, you won't always land in the saddle again. But for the sake of the drill, we were often it'll be back to like 50-50. So it'll often be. Often here. We roll through. 
you know, kind of how often they got like 50 50 as we roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I was going to say, good drill. Make sure this one's clear. This slows down Gavin from getting up, right? Yeah. yeah. Sitting back. <laughs> like so, and then I would just swing my leg. Um, so, if I can do that, I can keep going. Yeah. As long as this one's like. It means my hips are pressing. <laughs> Okay, so now let's just go over like what to do. What do you do once you're once you've lost the line of the knee? Okay, so uh, maybe Jeremy straightened his leg and started to turn, and he's already like freed his leg enough that like yeah, if it's here for example, my hips are like above. They're on that calf now. If I did that that hip in, there's no way it's going to bend the knee. Okay, so I have to get that like when my hips can actually push into the knee. That's good. But when I'm here, there's no way that's going to. Uh, gonna work, okay? And if, in fact, if I try, but Jeremy will probably start kicking, and like it starts to get quite difficult to, to finish here, okay? Um, so generally, if we've lost the the knee line, obviously we try to we try to recover the knee line as as best we can. I've been liking coming under and trying to put like some sort of wedge to bend the knee a little bit, okay? So like hand underneath the knee here like this um, and just like putting some downward pressure on the, the foot okay so as Jeremy starts to scoot back and starts trying to free himself it can at least keep me like attached here um, obviously if you can do that and get your position back that's great that's not that common though because that other leg is going to drive me this leg's going to drive me nuts as I try to like reconnect any sort of any sort of entanglement again okay so the best answer here, once I get this, I want to spin under. Okay. If I spin under and invert, it's I can uh, I can <laughs> potentially move out of the way of that leg. Okay. So you see here, Jeremy's leg can be very annoying for me here. If I'm able to invert, I can shoot my leg through and start to catch the the line of the knee again. Okay. Back in. It's now 50-50, but I get a chance to to go for the leg. Again. Jeremy's freed his knee and he's starting to push with that leg. I'm going to be trying to like keep it as best I can here. And I want to like invert, diving my, like doing like over your, over your shoulders here. So rolling under here. See how on this, on this angle here, it's very hard for that leg to intercept my, my right leg now. Okay. So as I roll through, I get a chance to shoot my right leg back in. And potentially catch the, the leg lock. Okay, guys, if you're new to this, just focus on just re getting the don't worry about getting a heel hook to see if you can bring the knee back past the line of your hips uh, from doing that roll. Okay, so again, we're here. I've lost the knee like this. Jeremy's starting to, to kick himself free. You can get up if you want, but you're going to roll through and shoot your leg through that gap. Try to reconnect. One more time. So we need to like lift the knee up to have a gap to go on. We can't do that. So had the saddle. Jeremy's freed his leg. Coming up here. Roll through. You can to like as, as he's scooting away. I can slow like if he fully straightens. It's gonna be hard to do anything. <laughs> Even just like this. Sometimes if he scoots all the way away, like you can get up and you can start trying to sit back in with this. This is fine. Uh, if you're a little earlier and he's and his foot's bothering you, then yeah, from here you can start to roll through and catch the <laughs> That's a good one.